Hey guys, Alessio, hope you're well. In this video, I've got something very interesting to show you. We'll take a look at this chart you're seeing here, and I'm gonna to talk to you about what I've been buying most recently, and also what the smart money, what the big money out there is doing right now, and what it could likely mean for the future. All right, guys, gonna be quite interesting. Join me. All right, guys, welcome back. So as I'm sure you probably know uh, from my previous video, you know who Bill is. Bill and I have been friends now for almost 15 years. Bill, is that right? About uh, that much, yeah. yeah. One thing that Bill and I have in common is that we're both deeply interested in markets. Both Bill and I are very much interested in what hap what's happening in the stock markets, also crypto and Bitcoin. Do you have much of an interest in what's happening in the crypto world? Yes, I've been following that quite closely in recent yeah. years. And also you're into metals, yes. precious metals as well. Commodities, yeah. yes, commodities, yes. Commodities, okay. Oh, by the way, I haven't said anything about where I am. This is. We're in Wales, town of Betsy Coed, an amazing place, by the way. Uh, yeah, we're, we're actually walking uh, near the a stream and a river in the town of Betsy Coed. And uh, a great place if you want to go walking, by the way, as you can see, there's a walking route here. Guys, here's the thing. You guys know I love Bitcoin. I love Ethereum. I, I also like a couple of other cryptos too, but I think you probably agree with me. Most cryptos, I would say 98% of cryptocurrencies are absolute garbage. In other words, most cryptocurrencies are a piece of she. All right, guys, as I was saying, I like Bitcoin, I like Ethereum, maybe one other crypto, but there's one market I'm very much interested in, which I've been buying recently, Bill's been buying it as well, and that is, you probably won't believe this, but the one market I'm talking about, well, here's the thing, before I mention which market it is, uh, let's talk about the commercial hedger's smart money, because recently, uh, from some data from Jason Geppert of Sentiment Trader, Bill, isn't that right, that they've actually been buying heavily heavy amounts of one market shall we find out uh, bill is going to read out this section again courtesy of jason geppert go ahead smart money commercial hedges established one new extreme this week and it's notable for only the third time in history hedges moved to a net long position in silver futures wow did you hear that guys so Commercial hedgers, now as you guys know, commercial hedgers are probably the true smart money. You guys know most big institutions I discussed to you, as I discussed in previous videos, most big money institutions are not really the smart money. These guys are as much part of the herd as everybody else. However, there's one probable uh, exception, and that is the commercial hedgers. And as Bill read out there, it seems that these guys are establishing net long, net long positions, that was heavily buying, into silver, silver futures. And by the way, in case you're wondering, well, so what? But the thing is that this is actually very unusual. In fact, even Jason Geppert himself says that this is a very unusual activity. For commercial hedgers to be net long in any market is actually quite unusual. It's not something you normally see. In other words, whenever these guys, whenever commercial hedgers establish these net long positions, uh, typically in silver in this case, then this is very bullish. It's extremely bullish for silver. And it's also quite curious, why silver? Why not gold, you're probably asking. And I gotta be honest, I don't know. One interesting fact you probably know about, and again, it's quite sad to mention this. You guys know at the death of Queen Elizabeth, uh, who sadly died very recently. And as I'm sure you know, because the queen has died, um, a lot of the coins have to be reminted. So, you know, everything has to be changed, right, Bill? So That's I mean- absolutely right. Yeah, so we have a new king, King Charles III, and Essentially, as I'm sure you know, that means all the coins, all the currencies, the face of the queen has to be replaced by the king, King Charles III. And it's possible, this is acting as a catalyst right now because we've seen a jump in the price of silver as well. This could be a catalyst perhaps for, uh, again, reminting silver coins. As I'm sure you know, one of the most famous coins with the monarch head uh, on it is the sovereign. It's a gold sovereigns and also some silver coins, which has the monarch's head on it. Uh, anyway. I just thought I'd mention that. I'm not saying that's a big factor here in the price of silver. I'm saying it's a potential catalyst. By the way, guys, I uh, just want to show you over here. This is a really, truly picturesque and beautiful part. In a few minutes, I think, well, actually, in about an hour or so, we're going to uh, a waterfall, isn't it? Yeah, uh, in, yes. in Wales. Yes. <laughs> Sorry, digress, small digression. Uh, now, anyway, so this is why, essentially, I've been buying silver, and you've been buying silver as well, uh, right, Bill? Uh, yes, yes, uh, uh, for a few years, I've yeah. been in silver, yes. Exactly, so it's a long-term thing. And again, guys, this is by no means a recommendation. I'm not saying you should go buy silver, uh, okay? I'm just saying this is what I'm doing, this is what Bill's doing, and essentially, this is what the commercial hedgers, the smart money out there is doing as well. 
I'm not saying there's no risk. There's always risk, okay? And at the, at the moment, as you can see on the price, of, price chart of silver, we've had a strong downtrend. We've come down now to some important support levels, bounced off some support, supporting trend line, but the resistance has not yet been broken. Resistance is at the August highs. For people out there who are more conservative, they want to play it more safely, what they could do is wait until the August highs have been taken out or at least wait for silver to establish an uptrend. Due to the conditions, due to what I've just said a few minutes ago about commercial hedgers and what they're doing, and because of the low price of silver and the potential bounce from support, that's why I've been accumulating silver. And this is, again, it's a long-term thing. It's not a one year or a couple of months thing. Do you have any thoughts on silver? Why you think that uh, maybe commercial hedgers are placing such strong bets on, on this market, Bill? I, I do have some ideas on why there may be such excitement in the silver market. What do you think it is? And it's got to do with energy. Okay. Uh, as uh, many of you will already be aware, the number one topic in the news in recent months has been the energy markets. An energy crisis, an energy shortage, not just in one area. We've got shortages in the oil markets, we've got shortages in the gas market, yeah. and we've even got shortages in the coal market and believe it or not, even in the uranium market as well. Interesting. Uh, so the um, ore grades in uranium are declining. It takes more energy to get the uranium out of the ground. This is all linked to silver because a major input into the production of silver is energy. So one of the best proxies for investing in energy, you can't put barrels of oil in your back garden, but you can get silver. Silver is a very good proxy for uh, an energy shortage, which we now know is coming. A lot of um, uh, governments have been saying this. They've been admitting it to their publics. Mm. And so uh, silver is extremely undervalued today. We know that there's been a lot of price uh, suppression. And so at some point, this uh, suppression of silver will be lifted away yeah. and it will then rise up to reflect the energy shortages. So one of the best ways to buy or a bar barrel of oil is actually to go out and buy silver. Yeah. By the way, guys, when I say I've been accumulating silver, I'm talking about silver bars as well as gold bars and some coins. Uh, I'm not talking about futures. By the way, guys, for more information, uh, check out the most recent members update that I posted. More details about Bitcoin, stock markets are all in there. Thank you very much indeed. See you guys soon. From me and Bill here in Wales. Mm -hmm.